Hello again everyone, Sonic Yoda from Sega Driven back with another instalment in our complete Sonic fan game series. We're taking a different approach to this episode by making every game featured a fully 3D one. It's honestly a bit crazy that there's enough 3D Sonic fan games out there to do an entire episode dedicated to them, and it certainly shows how far Sonic fan gaming has come in such a short space of time. First up we're going to take a look at Sonic World. This title is actually still in active development, with a deluxe release being worked on as we speak, but the version 9 release of this game is so feature rich that it would be unwise not to feature it here. Sonic World is very much a modern Sonic title in that it's a very fast 3D take on the Sonic formula and you have an overwhelming arsenal of abilities at your disposal. Every stage features multiple missions to complete, adding a huge amount of replay value to the title. There's also an overwhelming selection of characters to choose from and they all have access to the same levels meaning you can play as your fave in any stage and any mission in the game. Unfortunately this does create some unbalance as certain characters aren't well suited to certain stages. Stages themselves also suffer from poor design and you'll find yourself falling down numerous pitfalls all the time. Regardless, this is still an amazing and feature rich title that is well worth a look if you like modern Sonic. Next up we have Sonic Souls, which is another extensive and feature rich 3D Sonic title based around modern Sonic's moveset. You can homing attack and boost your way around these stages and there's a larger focus on exploration which isn't repeatedly punished with pitfalls. Powered by Sonic GDK, this is certainly the most impressive looking game that we'll look at in this video, however the bloom effect can be a little over the top in certain stages. Again, this is a commendable effort that features a ton of stages to play through, and while the stage design isn't perfect, it's certainly another decent modern Sonic title for fans of that style. We move on to Sonic the Hedgehog 3D, which is interestingly built in the Duke Nukem 3D engine. This title further explores expansive and playground style stage design, urging the player to get off the beaten path and look for secrets. It's a little slower paced than our previous two titles, which makes the action feel a little bit more considered. Our only real complaint is that the landscapes often feel a little flat. It would be nice to have some more dynamism in the stages. A bit more verticality would have really made this game shine, but it's still a great time regardless and fans of Sonic Adventure will certainly find a lot to like here. Sonic Hexicide draws from the most unlikely candidate for its inspirations. This is a game that clearly has a lot of love for Sonic Lost World with its gravity defying cylindrical worlds, and it's a genuinely fun little game. It dumps the awkward parkour mechanics from Sonic Lost World and focuses solely on platforming, which actually works in its favour. I also appreciate the use of the Sonic Extreme sprites for its character, making the obvious connection between Lost World and the infamously cancelled Sega Saturn game. The only real drawback is its lack of controller support. Playing a 3D Sonic game with a keyboard is not a great control setup. Speaking of Sonic Extreme and the Sega Saturn, Sonic 3D Extreme is clearly going for that aesthetic. 
Once again, this is a keyboard control title which makes it a little unwieldy, but it's certainly a charming little game that really likes to showcase its loops and corkscrews with cool camera angles. It's probably a bit too fast for its own good, and you'll often find yourself speeding into pitfalls at a moment's notice. It's also worth mentioning that the stage design is also a little flat, and it doesn't work in the game's favour. Stages are very long and often uninteresting, and there's only so much a charming aesthetic can count for. Either way, there's still a hefty experience to unravel here, and if you've got the patience for it, it could be a rewarding one. Sonic Round 7 is a bit of a hidden gem. This title is based on the bonus stages from Sonic CD, with the goal to get 80 rings to open the stage exit. Rings are scattered around the map, and 10 of them can be easily obtained by destroying UFOs. It's an addictive little title with great controls and the addition of an accelerate button which makes it play more like a driving game. Completing the title also rewards the player with some fantastic Sega fan service that I won't spoil here, because it deserves to be discovered on your own terms. This is a fantastic little game that I don't see discussed nearly enough. Finally, I think it's worth mentioning Sonic Roboblast 2 again. The final update of version 2.1 went live in June 2019, which makes now a great time to dive back into this legendary fan game. Sonic Roboblast 2 has fantastic stage design with so many secrets to uncover, and it plays great. Version 2.2 should also be out by the end of the year, and it promises a massive overhaul which should make this already brilliant game even better. This really is the gold standard when it comes to 3D Sonic fan games, and its 20 years of development really needs to be recognised as a remarkable achievement. And that's another complete fan game video in the bag. As always, links to download all the games featured in this video are available in the description below. If any have caught your eye that you haven't played before, then please do let us know. It would be great to hear back from anyone who's found their new favourite.